In this video, we teach you some West Coast Swing dance steps to move from beginner to intermediate West Coast Swing. What's up everyone, it's Brian B. And Miss Megan. Welcome to the second video in our four video pattern chart series. What are we doing in the pattern chart series? We are taking a beginner pattern and leveling it up to advanced. So in the first video of the series, we taught the sugar push, we taught the left side pass, and of course the third core basic is the whip. So all of your patterns are gonna be based off of one of those three core patterns. In this video, we're taking the left side pass and teaching you how to do an inside turn. In the third video, we are gonna do the inside turn from different variations, making them intermediate, including this one that goes over my head. And in the fourth video, we're gonna make this advance where we use the inside turn, a rock and go into a pop out, and a little spin for the follower. All right, before we get started, we have a free gift for you. What's the free gift, Miss Megan? It is our pattern tree chart. So the pattern tree chart is a brainchild of Megan. It is a way, it's a clickable, linkable document that shows the hundreds of patterns that we teach in West Coast Swing and how they relate back to your basic dance steps for beginners, your push, your pass, and your whip. Up till now, it's only been available to the members of our site. We're gonna give it to you free. You can click the link here or down below and download it now. Finally, make sure you have subscribed to the channel and you hit the bell button so you'll be notified when the other videos come out in this series. The next videos will come out each week for the next three weeks on Wednesday. So I think we've talked too much. On with teaching your beginner dance steps, the sugar push, the pass, and the whip. Okay, so we're working off the left side pass and we are gonna learn an inside turn. It is one of the kind of basic patterns. Um, so the left side pass is probably one of the most boring patterns that you'll learn. We covered that in the first video, but the turn is really what's going to get us to all of the rest of the patterns that we know, right? There's endless things that we can do with this inside turn, right? So if we're talking about beginner dance steps for West Coast Swing and leveling them up, we have to master this turn. So let me quickly cover leader's footwork. It's the same as the left side pass. We step out for one, two, three, and four five and six, right? Super basic, you can go back and watch video one if you want to refresh on that. But this is the turn for the followers, so take it away, Miss Megan. All right, so followers, you're gonna step forward with your right foot. We have a forward, forward, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. Now we're gonna do three half turns, turn, 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 and triple step. So doing that one more time, we have one, two, then we're gonna turn three and four, five and six. The two walks in the beginning, the leader is going to prep you. What that means is he's gonna move your hand in and out a little bit. You don't wanna do what I just did where the whole body goes, okay? We're just going to be a little bit further over our side than normal. So rib over toes, rib over toes, and then turn around. So if we link a little bit of what's gonna go on to the leaders, and Megan talked about what we call a prep for a turn. That means to prepare the follower for the turn as a signal, right? A lead, if you will. So officially, I don't need the first prep. I need the second prep so Megan could be forward on her left side like she was gonna throw a ball. This side's back and it has energy for the turn, right? So leaders, I don't need to prep anything but the second step of the, of the turn. However, that being said, you'll find me prepping both sides of the turn. Here's why that's not a terrible idea. Because this is a little bit of a clue to Miss Megan that the turn's coming, right? So depending upon who you're dancing with, if they're not as well connected, you can use the two preps. So we get to the two preps, one, two. At this point, the turn is being fired off by the follower. I'm gonna follow this around her head. So we call this baby steps. So stay right where you are in place. We're gonna go baby steps over, and back down. So practice that again, right? Leaders are gonna take their wristwatch, put it to the sky, rotate around the follower's head, drop the hand, that's the inside turn. That's happening on count three and four. We have one prep, two, three, and four, and then we anchor on the other side. So what are you thinking in the turn, Megan, so that that's a comfortable thing for you? The first thing is making sure that my elbow stays down. We call this Barbie arm because Barbie used to have, or only used to have this joint. So when we do this, we have a one, two. I'm gonna to try to keep continuing around and then triple step. So if you're struggling with the turns, we've done tons of videos on turns. I'll link one up here in the corner. So if that's your struggle, um, we'll do that. But we're gonna master this inside turn. So practice the footwork for leaders and followers, right? We'll give you one more thing to think about before we get into the next video. You can practice that inside turn. Now we're gonna take it to closed position and that's where we're gonna leave off 
for the next video. So we have one prep two. As Megan's going through, I'm gonna pick up her back and we're gonna end up in closed position because spoiler alert, this is what we're gonna need woo, for the next video, right? So to pick up the back, here's what we need to do, leaders and followers. We're gonna try this in what we call baby steps. Baby steps, so leaders, just kind of stand closer to your follower. I'm gonna take this hand up, put the wristwatch to my face, I'm gonna to start to rotate her. The second I can see, and if JT can zoom in on this for me, the second I can see the middle of her spine, I'm gonna put my hand there, Miss Megan's gonna raise her elbow, and we're gonna end up in closed position, right? So practice that again, baby steps. We rotate, 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 I put my hand in her back, she goes up and over with her arm. Now, the fear for the followers is what? hitting your leader in the face. So when the leader, uh, when you feel the hand in your back, you have a somewhat idea of where that arm is going to be. Only go up far enough that you can go over the arm. You don't want to raise your hand and you don't want your elbow to go up either. So just slightly up and over. And leaders, you can help the health of your mouth by reading this, reaching this hand in nice and early so she knows to go to a closed position. And the final thing I have to do is I go to closed position off my inside turn is just manage my footwork. Oops, I didn't get there, <laughs> right? So I have to manage my footwork and I'm basically tracking Megan almost like, like Top Gun where they locked in. Do, 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 do. You remember Top Gun? Way nope, before your time. It. Yep, back before Tom Cruise is crazy. One, two, three, and four. I'm locked in, I'm following Megan to that closed position and we end off and close. If you wanna get out of this for this video, you can just use the good old fashioned left side pass to get out. But that is video two in our three video series for our pattern Four tree chart. Series. I lied, four videos. So the next one is number three. We're gonna link that up behind this. If you're watching this real time, it's gonna come out a week from Wednesday. Uh, so make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Download the pattern tree chart. That's going to be linked up here and down below. That's a clickable linkable document to all of the patterns we've taught that will show you how everything relates back. So we will see you again next week for level three, three of this video series. Mm -hmm.